I get lots of requests for people that want to sew something heavy duty. So we're going to show you some tricks here. So I have this denim, and I'm going to make a strap with it. And I'm going to fold it into fourths and make a nice seam. Real simple setup here. I set this on a straight stick. Um, I might want to change my needle for denim. I'm going to do some leather too. I change from a universal needle to a leather needle, which will work fine on this denim here. But it'll also work when we do the, the leather. So we're sewing away here. Uh, I'm going to make this stop with the needle down. That allows me to make my strap easier. Because then I can pull against the needle. One of the things we like about these Viking machines, the old 6000 series, is that um, if we start doing really heavy stuff, we have the option of putting it in low gear. And you can see I put it in low gear here, and now it will run one-fifth the speed but have five times the needle penetration. I don't really need to do that for this four layers of denim. we have four layers and we're going to join this together and make it uh, eight layers. Now when I get to this I might want to uh, actually hem that. So I'm going to have 12 layers of denim right here where I do that. So that's the sort of place where I'm going to have a bit of a problem. You can see uh, pressure foot is up all the way and it doesn't want to go over that. Uh, one of the issues that happens when you have the pressure foot up, the tension discs release here. When the pressure foot's down, they engage. So we're going to do a trick. But first we're going to show it to you if we were doing eight layers. And with the eight layers, we're going to use a useful little tool called the hump jumper. And this is great for when you're sewing over a hump. So I'm going to sew up to this. And I stop with my needle down, and then I raise my pressure foot, and I take this tool, which has a wedge, 